Hello. God bless you. I see uh, Mrs. Durham. Sister Durham is in the house today. God bless Sister Durham. Welcome in, Sister Durham. It's so good to see you. <laughs> it was a pleasure. <laughs> very, very dear sister. The Lord. Woman of God. Good to see you. And all of you welcome in. And I'm, I'm excited to see that there's a group of you coming on right now. Go state where you're from and where you're coming in from. Thank you, Jesus. And we're going to, uh, we're going to be long today. Amen. We're going to be doing some praying today because we need to break some stubborn yokes along with this month of slaying out Goliath. Amen. Let's be doing a prayer on today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Watching all the way from Turks and Kegos. Oh, God bless you, woman of God. Beautiful Turks and Kegos. I was there before. <sighs> I didn't want to come back. I tell them, send my luggage and send all my clothes. I want to move to the Turks. <laughs> That's how beautiful it is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I see Juan Carol is on. Juan Carol is on. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I see Stuart, very Christian. They're on. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to be praying for people for this whole month. Amen. Going into, going into, going into February. The January feed is important. I want to pray for some more people because we had some amazing testimonies. One of the testimonies on the live on which I prayed for someone on, they said, man of God, surely you hear from God and God answers your prayers because the case that was pending for over 12 years, a case that was pending for over 12 years. So I got a call. I got a call the next day after the prayer for the continuance and for a date to be set after your prayers, man of God, after the prayers and the prayers of the saints. Thank you, Jesus. Abby is home watching live with me from the cool and windy Atlanta. Oh, all right. We got Atlanta. Yeah, Madison is cool here in the Bahamas. Uh, Madison. Oof. Yeah, we, we really wanted a cool Christmas. And we certainly got some cold weather. Amen. It's cool here as well. It's really cool and um, chilly, you know. So we, we thank God for, for it. Anyhow, when hot, we say it's too cold. When it's too cold, we say it's too hot. Amen. Can't please us. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray with some people. I'm going to bring you on to pray with you. Thank you, Jesus. If you want me to pray with you so we can break the stuff, we're going to be breaking some stuff. I'm going to I'm going to invite you on. Thank you, Jesus. And we're going to pray. Amen. But let's cover. Let's cover this place first and cover this uh, this broadcast. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'll pray with you. Amen. And like I said, the lady said she got the, the thing that was held up for 12 years. They call her, I think, that next day, and they set a date for it to happen. Thank you, Jesus. 12 years, 15 years of court cases, all right? 17 years, 20 years, 30 years of court cases, never being able to make it to the light of the day. God is going to break it, and God will give his people victory. Amen? But sometimes you just need to challenge these powers, amen, that are in the atmosphere. And so I'm going to call some of you on to pray. Don't be shy. Don't hide your face. If you don't want to be seen, all right, you can just, you can, uh, you can come on, but you just don't have to, uh, you don't have to come on the camera, but you do need to be prayed for. If you see me um, um, punch on you, don't, 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 uh, don't hide yourself, all right, because maybe God wants to break something of your life. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. We cover his grounds, Father. We cover his grounds. We give you glory today. If you want to come on the camera, indicate that whether you are having home, back home is pure shirts and shorts. <laughs> Compared to what you're loving, eh? Real, la, 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 la
baba rabo kurabi sila baba ri la ba ra ba kurabi la ba ba ra ba ra bi la baba kurabi ri sila baba kurabi sila baba ra ba 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 ri kurabi baba sila baba ri bi la baba kurabi ba ba ra ba da bi la baba ri ki sila baba ra bi sila baba kurabi la ba sila baba ri bo ku sila baba ra bi la ba sila baba ra ba la ba ba ro ku ra bi la ba ba ra ba ra bi la ba ku ra bo ku ra bi ba ba ra ba ri ki la ba ra ba ra sila ba ku ra ba 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 let's take some time to praise the lord amen when you speak in tongues you speak mystery to the lord when you speak in a heavenly language you speak a mystery to god but you also enter being energized amen in the realm of the spirit thank you jesus ro ku ra bi la sila ba ba ka ba ba and you building up your most holy faith amen and your spirit man is being built up ro ku ra bi sila ba ba some of you believe in god for the gift of speaking in tongues la ba ka ba sila ba It's yours because it's part of the package when you got saved. Roku ribi silabra ba kuri silabra ba ribi labi silabra ba raba raba. Ri silabra ba raba raba silabra ba kuri ribi labi silabra ba ba ri la sobo kuri ba. Ri labi silabra ba raba ri la silabra ba kuri ba raba raba ba ba. I karaba silabra. Come on guys, come on. Robu kuri ribi labi ri silabra ba robu kuri ribi ki labi raba silabra ba. Ribi labi silabra ba kuri ba ri labi raba raba ba 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 raba ba ba ba. Roku ribi labi silabra ba kuri ribi labi silabra ba kuri ba. Rabu kusil baraba baraba ila baraba 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 rabi baraba rabu kusil baraba kerabi la baraba 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 rabu kusil baraba rabi sila baraba 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 raka baraba rabi la baraba kaba baraba baraba without faith is impossible to please God. Effectual fervent prayer. Fervent means hot. Means it means heated. Means you know you're desperate. La baraba kerabi sila baraba kerabi baraba baraba. It means you are you are hungry and passionate. Rook, Rabbi, what your blessings? Labra, Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi. You cannot stay one more second, one more minute, one more uh, uh, hour in in the things that the enemy has been holding you back in. Labra, Rabbi, Rabbi, you don't care. You don't mind coming on on camera. You don't mind getting prayed for. Rabba, Karabi, Shilabra, Rabbi, Rabbi. Riki, Labra, Shilabra, Rabbi, Rabbi. Your case is hot. Rabbi, 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 and you need to care before the judge. Rook. Thank you, Jesus. Rabu kuribi sila rabu kuribi ba. Rabu kuribi sila rabu kuribi sila rabu rabu sila rabu rabu. Rabu kuribi sila rabu kuribi sila rabu rabu kuribi rabu sila rabu 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 rabu. Rabu kuribi sila rabu rabu sila rabu 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 sila rabu rabu. Thank you, Jesus. Rabu rabu kuribi sila rabu rabu rabu. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Rabu kuribi sila rabu rabu. Rabu rabu sila rabu 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 kuribi rabu. Rabu kuribi sila rabu kuribi sila rabu kuribi sila rabu. Rabu kuribi sila rabu rabu sila rabu 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 rabu. Rabu kuribi sila rabu rabu sila rabu 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 rabu. Thank you, Jesus. Labra 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 That has been keeping us, Father God, in a in a pattern and cycle of trauma and failure. In the name of Jesus, Labra Bo Kribi Si Labra Baba. We ask that, Father God, you will move for us on our behalf today, Lord. We ask that, Father God, you will break every stubborn hold. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Labo Kribi Si Labra Baba. Robo Kribi Si Labra Baba. Raba Raba Baba. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Robo Kribi Si Labra Baba. Raba Baba 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 Baba. Robo Kribi. In the mighty name of Jesus. We cast down every foul and polluted spirit. We cancel your plans over the people of God. We break your neck and we pop your neck in the spirit realm. We take the sword of the spirit and we cut you in half. We decapitate you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will not die an untimely death. You will not die an untimely death. You will not die a premature death. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we decree and declare that this is the day that the Lord has made. Robo kurabe si labo robo kurabe si labo bab. We will rejoice and be glad therein. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Robo kurabe si labo bab, Raba si labo bab, Raba bab. In the name of Jesus, we just shut down every plan of shame and fear. We bind the spirit of fear and shame, Rakaba si labo bab, Raba bab, and we cancel the spirit of guilt. Mighty God, guilt, guilt, guilt. I cancel the spirit, the spirit of guilt and condemnation. Robo kurabe bab, Raba bab, Raba bab. I've been fighting against you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Robo kurabe si labra baba. Robo kurabe labra si labra kurabe baba 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 baba. Robo si labra baba baba si labra baba baba. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I'm asking Robo kurabe Father that all that are on that you will you'll bring them a mighty miracle. You'll give them 
Father God, a mighty miracle. If you want to come on, just indicate to me. Said, man of God, I want to come on. I want you to pray for me. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We want to give you all the glory, all the honor, because we know you're coming back soon. And you're coming back for spotless church. You're coming back for those who are serious, Lord. You're coming back for that remnant, that called up ones, the, the holy ones, Lord. Yes, Lord. The ones that will not be ashamed of you. be before man. Yes, Lord. And will take their place and will and fight evil and fight darkness wherever they see it. And be that light that is put upon a hill in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing today in your servant's life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we give you glory. We give you praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I speak mighty miracles. Lord, release 50 miracles. Lord, I thank you for the 50 uncommon, unshakable, unassailable miracles to those that are watching right now. Right now, Father God, let the miracle fire of your presence, Lord, Father God. Bring them, Father God, victory, Lord, and take them out of their hands and the grip of the enemy. Rabakab, generational poverty. I call you out by name, and I crush your head. Generational poverty, generational lack, generational scarcity, scarcity mindset. I command you to come out of the people right now, and I break your power right now. I release you from your assignment. Pack up your load. Pack up your load. Pack up your load and go to whence you came. You are not welcome here. We do not receive you. We do not receive you in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we break your back. We break your back. We break your back, you foul spirit. And we decree and declare that this is the season of the breakthrough. We decree that every demon, every, every Goliath, every demon of Goliath, every demonic Goliath spirit, giant man that has been hindering us, mocking us, teasing us, taunting us, stopping us from going into our promised land, mocking our God. Do you know that Goliath mocks your God? Do you know he mocks God? Do you know he mocks the Lord? Do you know he belittles God? It is nothing other than a demon that is that is that is a a, a a power demon that is challenging the powers of God, mighty God, and he's raised up a giant man, 12 feet tall, 15, 15 feet tall by some estimations, and he's mocking the people of God because of his might and his size and being a seasoned man of war. But the Lord said, this is an unusual fight, and this is an unfair fight, because you're going to go in with no experience. You have me? No experience. Only trusted in the Lord and calling on the name of the Lord, who is your strong tower, who is your battle axe, and your weapon of war. And yes, you will go in with the Lord. Yes, you're going to be qualified for that position. You're going to be qualified for the position you're about to get, but you will get it supernaturally, because when you hit that Goliath in his head, all of those that have been blocking you and saying, you need this credential, you need this certification, you need this degree, you need this training, you need that training. God will supernaturally train you in one day what you need to know in the name of Jesus. Because with Jesus and you, you are not the minority. You are the majority in the name of Jesus. Self-hatred, self-hatred. Have you ever had a little voice in your head tell you, you were pathetic. You were a loser. You know, you, you suck. Everything you do, you, you mess up. You can't even finish right. Look at all of them are better than you. Eh? You can never get that promotion. You can never get that increase. You, you, you look at you. You ugly. You ugly. You, you don't even look good. You look weird. You big and fat and sloppy. Look at you. You're too skinny. Look at you. Your teeth mess up. Look at you. You have your ass big. Look at you. You know, you got wide eyes, big eyes, plop eyes. You know, pop eye. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Look at you. You can't even kill a flea. You can't even kill a roach. Look at you walking around here. You so drop down. You so dead. Someone can hit you. You know there's a tombstone waiting for you. They got your name on this tombstone. Do you know there's a bullet waiting for you? Do you know you can die today? 
I cancel those, those negative, wicked thoughts that's been whispering by the adversary into your head today, making you feel like you are not worth it. You can't, you can't get that man. You, he'll never like something like you. You're a trailer trash. You're trash. Look where you come from. Look at your background. Look at you. He, he's, he likes upper class people. He's from a different echelon. He's from a higher echelon. He, he the league class. That's where you're in your league. You could never marry a man like that. He would never see nothing good at you. You don't like you. you. You know, she'll never, she'll never, she'll never go with you. She'll never, you don't even stand a chance. Why are you wasting your time? She's way out of your league. Why you could have attained that? Huh? Who you think you is to even dream that? You need to set your, you need to set your side lower. You need, to, you need to start going in your league. Stay in your lane. Why are you trying to dream big? Why are you believe that you could get this house? Why you, why you think you could get this, this husband? How you think you could get this car? Huh? You need to go find one little jalopy. Find one little, one little pop down or like we say in the Bahamas, bubble up. You, who you think you is? <coughs> huh? How you could ever preach this gospel? You can't even stand in front. You can't even pray in front of your own family. Yeah, you can. I go. I can start in front of millions. Huh? You can't even speak two words together. You can't even put two strings together. You, you, you never even finished school. You been in college? Did you ever go to any cemetery? <coughs> Excuse me, seminary. How you, how you, how you do this? Huh? Who qualified you? Did they release you yet? Anybody release you? Huh? Who you mean God to use you at a global level? Who you mean your husband coming? You only see you done eighty-five. You only see you done seventy-five. Who you mean your husband coming? Who you mean you get your healing? You see anything looking any different? You still got all them pain. You still got all them aches. Huh? What you talk about? That's that Goliath spirit. Huh? And it whispers to you constantly, constantly, constantly telling you these things. Constantly, constantly. We are in an everlasting battle with our mind. That's why speaking in tongue is so amazing and so great and so fantastic. Look at the mirror. Would you see the mirror? Look at you. Your nose big. Yeah? Look at your nose big. Your hair gray. Your hair white. Your 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 eighty pounds. Your eighty pounds overweight. Huh? Who like you? Your clothes can't fit you. What you doing? You you don't even you don't even like what you see in the mirror. Huh? You gotta love about yourself. You're going to begin to love yourself just the way you are and work from that point. I'm not saying stay there, but you begin to make changes and you begin to correct that. Amen? Because what you see in the mirror is only a reflection of what's reflected back at you. That's not the true you. That's only an image. Amen? You are made in the image and likeness of God Almighty. And that's what the devil hates about you because you carry the image. You carry the seal. That thing which he wanted that he could never get, you have. And you don't even recognize that you're carrying this, this light and this love and this joy in you. You are making... You are making amazing changes. Even people are seeing it and they're uh, and they're being attracted and drawn to you. And so what happens is that because you are like this, because you are like this, thank you, Jesus, because you are like this, God is doing what? God is doing something for you, and you don't even recognize it. You don't even recognize you're shining for him. And the, the devil is trying to make you feel bad about yourself. That man will never like you. That man even he like you. Why are you wasting your time? That man will leave you. That man ain't, ain't care for you. That man, that man don't even want him to do with you. Huh? Because the devil wants you to feel like you are un, you are you're incapable, and you are not you are not going to ever move into your promised land or your promise that God's given you. And so the enemy will constantly sow these strongholds, amen. Strongholds of the mind, constantly speaking, constantly talking, constantly saying stupidness in your head, amen. And then in the natural, it looks like that because you you might you might say, yeah, you know, it look like my neck healing. Yeah, it look like you know this 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 being gone. Yeah, it look like my eyes getting a little dimmer. See, the enemy wants you to because he can't even do that unless unless you agree with him. God bless you, woman of God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You see, God is God is willing to, to work with those who are willing to work with him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I'm going to pray with you right now, woman of God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, I just bring the woman of God to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And God, right now, on this live, I thank you for what you're about to do for her. Every stubborn problem, every demonic padlock, every every satanic padlock that has been fighting her, we lost her. Father God, we crush it and cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ over her life. And God, we ask that by your power and by your strength and by your wisdom, thank you, Jesus, you will bless her. You will open doors for her. You will take her to the next level. She will possess her possessions in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, Lord, now for the woman of God receiving her promises. And we thank you for her being blessed. 
We thank you for being favored. We thank you right now, God, that you're going to do something amazing for her and that your promises are yea and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Your promises are yea and amen in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And God, we give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor today. God, every Goliath lying to her, lying through her, through her and lying against her. Yes, God, we cast out every imagination and every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And we say, Jesus, Lord, you take the throne. God, I thank you that I have the mind of Christ today. And God, I thank you that today I will possess it in my mind. I will possess it in my will. I will possess it in my thoughts. I will possess it in my emotion. In the name of Jesus, give me my mountain this day and I shall possess it. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, we will possess our possession. We will possess our possession. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you, Lord, that you are doing an amazing work for your people. I thank you, Lord, that no weapon that is forged or imagined or thought about or projected at your people shall ever prosper according to Isaiah 54 and 17. In the name of Jesus. Let your people soar like, let your people soar like eagles. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Good to see you. Good to have you on. We finally was able to get someone else on. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to pray for you, woman. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, everything that's been fighting the woman of God, whether it be emotional, psychological, physiological, or spiritual, we call it in the captivity and we crush it in the realm of the spirit. We curse it at the root and we command the blessings of the Lord to even follow her right now. We lick this thing with the battle axe of the Lord and chop it in pieces and command it to go to dry places. I lose the blessings. I lose the favor. I lose the uncommon wisdom of God for strategy, tactic, and plans. We decree and declare that God is paying off the mortgage, woman of God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. First of all, God said the mortgage is being paid off. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord said he's selling your husband. Secondly, uh, and, and, and God says getting ready to elevate your business. God said there's another level of business coming for you. Not only that, God says he's doing something even concerning your mindset. God says in this season he's breaking a generational a generational curse that doesn't want the woman in that family to stay married. I cancel that and crush it in the name of Jesus. And I call it and we decree you cannot stay here. Every spirit spouse, every spirit spouse, every spirit spouse and night husband that has been fighting and generational hatred, I crush this thing right now and call it into question and command it to die. By the living God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release your husband to you. I release your blessing to you. I release uncommon favor to you. I release the financial reward. And I call for the clouds from the east, the west, the north, and the south. The Lord has said he's blessed to you, God. The Lord said he's going to fight this battle for you because there's a battle for you even in your mind, even in the dream. He's been fighting you so much in the dream. I saw the dreams where the enemy was trying to attack your mind in the dream and been fighting your dream life and has been um, uh, trying to mess you up and muddy the work. Some of the dreams don't even make sense, Lord God. And the Lord is saying the enemy has been trying to do the narrative so you will never see the light of day. Because I saw this thing, even I saw the thing that they tried to place around the house and I saw the thing that was planted in the yard and I saw the thing that's trying to reconnect. And I saw where the Lord is saying in the season, he's sending, he's sending, thank you, Jesus. He's sending a weapon that will destroy that wicked thing that they planted in the yard. And the Lord is showing that the enemy doesn't want to see you move forward in the things of God or in anything that pertains to a vehicle or a car. The Lord is now sharing that. And God is going to cause you to have the best. And you will see the best. And you will enjoy the fruit of your labor. And you will see God's hand moving upon you. For deliverance is the children's bread. So the spirit of living God, every demonic hitchhiker, every demonic dupe, every jealous eye, every envious eye, every evil eye that has been spoken against you, I command you to let her go. I command you to let, I command you to let her go. 
-hmm. There's someone who doesn't want to talk to you. There's someone who thinks they're married to you in the realm of the spirit. And I'm calling that out in the name of Jesus Christ. This thing and this mm -hmm. person does not want to be married. This thing and this person is a is a agent of chaos. You know what I mean? They've mm -hmm. got to let you go. You know what they're doing. And they have to loose you. You hear me? I loose you. I command mm -hmm. to loose you now. I command that spirit to loose you now. There were some things said in the spirit. There were some things done uh, uh, down in the place called the Eight Ball Rock against you mm -hmm. and against your progress and against your life. This thing goes back almost 20 years. In the name of Jesus, I have root that. I unplug that. I dig it up in the realm of the spirit because all those that wait upon God, hallelujah, shall be saved in the seed of woman of God. I crush it over your life. I crush it over your mind. I break this iron grip. I break this grip. I break the stubborn problem that does not want you to ever move forward and experience the bliss of marital, of marital bliss. I cancel that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Father. But everything that's even messing with her mind that wants to turn men off from her as they get to a certain point. Thank you, Jesus. Five months, six months, three months, and then they turn around and they head south. I curse this thing right now, and I release you from this contract. I release you from this covenant in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that you shall experience the joys of marriage. You shall experience the blessings of the Lord. You will see your money. You will have money released. Your business shall prosper. Your endeavor shall prosper. God says, I'm taking you to another level in the season. Woman of God, the Lord says, Great, your faith is not you so much as what has been fighting you. There's nothing worse than trying to hit something in the dark and cannot hit it because you don't know what are you finding out. You don't know who you're hitting. And sometimes we're trying to hit one particular demon and not that demon at all because that demon is standing off and laughing at you because you find yourself here. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I curse this thing of your life. And I cancel setback. Setbacks, 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 setbacks. Setback. And I lose the husband to you. I lose his mind to you. Anything mm -hmm. that's been that's been done at a certain point. Thank you, Jesus. And any covenants that has been done, that has been enacted and invoked and ritualized by blood, I curse it right now. I cancel it right now. I command any soul ties of the past. Anybody that has a soul tie with you from the past has been using them to yank your chain and keep you in a place where you cannot get married. Anybody that wants to marry you in the spiritual realm and think that they are your husband, thank you, Jesus. Whether human or with spirit, I say she is free, free in God. She's delivered. She's set free. You've seen your daughter has taken the full step and come on this camera when so many has denied it, Lord. And she came on. Now I ask, Father, for an amazing truth for her. I ask Father, that everything that you said and done here today, let it be a turning point. Let it be a pivot in her life, Lord. In the name of Christ, we've heard it said before, that the weapon is laid up for the just. Yet we go in and out of church, Lord, in and out of church, in and out of church, home, back to church, home, back to church, and we have no victory. Lord, it's time for the demonstration of your power. Let it be a demonstration of the power because there's no distance in prayer. There's no distance in the spirit. Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is liberty. And I declare that she's set free by the power of the living God. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Let Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you hear me, woman of God? Hello? Thank you, Jesus. All right. So we, I think we froze it right there. All right. Well, God bless her. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless God for the young lady. We know she will receive a miracle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. If you want to come on, let me know. Thank you, Jesus. If you want to come on, let me know. And we'll pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Good to see you. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? All right. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bring. I bring God, right now, I declare the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I shield her with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I shield her with the blood. And I release the fire of God to flow into her life right now. And God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, I release the thunder and the lightning of the living God to sever and disconnect any spiritual altars, any altars that has been set up and that has been enacted or ritualized by these people from the past amen generational hatred again we're dealing with generational hatred within household wickedness i cancel that over you and i command the spirit to loose you now and as i pray for you right now i decree that god will favor you like never before and this goliath has been trying to fight you and resist you i cancel the spirit of lack and limitation and poverty because in the realm of the spirit the lord has said that you are a wealthy person that you are wealthy and that there's a wealth a wealth of funds and and and, and um uh, resources that is available to you but i saw this the spirit that was taking the resources and banking it up in a warehouse i saw so much things for you that the enemy had stolen over a period of like 30 years or more in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i command the spirit to loose you now Go, you foul spirit. Up and out, you loose it down. Out of our enemy, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I break your grip and I break your power. Come out of her. Everything you've stolen from her. I command you to loose her now and let her go. And I cover her mind with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command that Jezebel demon and Jezebel Leviathan to loose her now. And I command that spirit that was trying to fight her. I break your power and I break your grip. And I loose you from your assignment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I speak healing to her heart, healing to her soul, healing to every part of her emotions, even the part of her Father God that sometimes feels like she's not worth it, that feels like sometimes that she's not going to make it, that feels like sometimes is like she feels sometimes that she's never going to find her Boaz. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I am declaring right now that you will be used of God. You will flow in the things of God. Everything that you've been through up to this point is preparation for you to be used by the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we sever the necks of the adversary. We come against those uh, workplace warfare hatred, and I cancel that spirit right now, and I'm declaring that this will be a banner year for you. I'm declaring that Jehovah Nissi will fight for you in this season, and that God will raise you up, and that God will put the resources and the blessings in your hands that is needed, woman of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command that foul wicked demon, that foul wicked spirit, to let you go and loose you. Everything that's been fighting you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. With a picture, a picture, that picture, I command a thing connected to the picture, and I cut it in two. I cut it in two, and I burn it up in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release the blessings to you, woman of God. I release a sweet sleep to you. And I decree and declare whatever's been messing with your head, your mind, your thoughts, your emotions, your body, anything that's been whispering to you, anything that's been trying to live in your head, to constantly try to put you down and remind you of the past, guilt, shame, condemnation, I command it to go. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Up and out. Up and out of her. I say up and out of her. Up and out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release you from the assignment and I command you to go. And I curse you at the root. I command you to let her go. Let her go. Loose her now. Loose the blessings. Loose the favor. Loose the increase. Forever. You will not be able to tempt her. You will not be able to hold her captive. 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We lose the blessings. I release the fire of God from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. I release it from her feet all the way up to her head. And I decree the fire of God, Holy Ghost fire, begin to burn out everything that's not of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I lose the glory of God to flow. I lose the fire of God to flow. I lose the blessings of God to flow in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There's only one power. There's only one God. And his name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth who died on the cross for our sins. And right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I ask that God, you will take her, Father God, into a different realm. You will take her into encounters. You will take her, Father God, into the things, Father God, of the Spirit. And right now, anything that's trying to hold her back, yes, I command you to go out of her life right now. You go, you go, 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 go. Up and out of her, up and out of her, up and out, up and out, up and out, up and out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will lose it now. 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 Up and out of her. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will loosen now. I break your neck right now in the surrender of the spirit, demon. Hallelujah. Loosen now. Thank you, Jesus. That thing that's trying to hide in the background, that's trying to hide in the pelvic area, that's trying to hide in the stomach area, that's trying to hide within the within the, the chest area. Thank you, Jesus. You will not die of a heart attack, woman of God. You will live and declare the works of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You the sight will be perfect. We decree their joints, their joints will function. We decree that their ladder shall be shall be greater than the former in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we command this thing to loose you. Right now, you will feel a heat going through your body. Right now, you will feel the fire of God cleansing and removing anything out of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now, even in your mouth, woman of God, God is cleaning the inside, even your throat, even the throat, even the throat area. Thank you, Jesus. Even if something with the throat. God says, I'm healing the throat area, the neck area right here, the neck area and, the, and around this area. Because in the realm of the spirit, I saw a python sitting right there on the neck area and the spine area. And even the enemy spirit trying to bring spine disalignment. And I cancel that right now and command all the nerve endings and the spine to function properly. And even right now, the depression that the enemy tried to bring, thank you, Jesus, the depression, the repression and suppression, but mostly. Depressing, depressing thoughts out of nowhere that the enemy has been trying to pull you. I cancel that over your life and I curse it right now and command it to die. And I lose you right now, woman of God, and I decree your mind is clear, clear thinking, clear thinking. I cover your mind and your thoughts with the blood of Jesus right now. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, release it now, woman of God. Release it now. This is your time right now for the fire of God to cleanse you because the Lord has shown that you're an eagle and you're going to fly. You're one of the eagles that's going to fly. You're one of the eagles that's going to soar. You're one of the eagles that's been asking God to be used of him. You want to be used of God. You want the greater. You want to see the greater anointing. You want to see the things of God. You have a sincere heart towards God. Hallelujah. And the Lord has shown in this season, thank you, Jesus, that he's going to give you a tribe and a set of people that can honor you, hallelujah, and you're going to honor them, and everybody's going to have each other's interests. No jealousy, because there's a lot of jealousy around you, even generational household jealousy that has been causing even, I see a family member looking for you in the realm of the spirit. I see a family member even right now is trying to find you, and they're monitoring and they're surveilling you in the realm of the spirit because of your, because of your looks. Thank you, Jesus. But we cancel this right now. We cancel this right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, and lose the fire of God. We lose the fire of God. And Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you right now, God, for a new, a new beginning for the woman of God. New beginnings. New beginnings. New beginnings. Elevation. Increase. God, increase. God, let her know she's not alone. But God, you're surrounding her with your power and your glory. And that she's, she's loved in the beloved. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And God, we thank you right now. For your, for your blessings that upon her life and the fact that, Father God, the best is yet 
to come. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come, woman of God. Thank you, Jesus. Let January, let January be an amazing year that she runs out of the gates, that she breaks off running. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be no baggage. Let there be no evil loads. Let there be no no uh, no mountains to carry. Thank you, Jesus. Her mountain has already been cast into the sea. In the name of Jesus, let there be a likeness and a step. Lord, let her have the the the, the, the youth that she had. In, uh, let her youth be renewed, Father God, even as when she was in the younger days. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you right now. Let her youth return once again, even in mind and body and soul. Let her youth return. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Woman of God, I see God dressing you in white. I see you in all white. I see you in all white. Amen? I see the Lord dressing you all white. And I see this white gown on you. It's a beautiful gown. I see you in all white. Thank you, Jesus. And I see you smiling in the Lord. Amen? I see you Amen. smiling in the Lord. God is sure that they cannot touch you. No root work will touch you. Thank you, Jesus. No root work shall keep you up in the season because it's been broken. The Lord says it's been broken. Amen? Now it's up to you to just confess it and speak it and declare it because I see the weapon trying to form. I see it trying to re reattach itself. But the Lord is saying that he's already released you to a greater dimension in the glory. Amen? And God has said in this season that he's disconnecting you from some things and some people that no longer serve uh, your highest good or even had you at the best. Amen? He was given 100 and he was given minus 100. The Lord is saying in this season he's going to give you a new beginning. And the Lord is sure that some people are going to be blocked permanently, uh, forever blocked. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because we are gas lighters. No more gas lighting. No more people making you feel guilty for things they've done to you. Thank you, Jesus. God is saying you will so no longer attract narcissists or people of that ilk. Amen? You will attract, you will attract and bring into your orbit the real people of God. And you will bring into this orbit the real husband that is coming to you. In the meantime, God is your husband. God is your provider. God will take care of you. God will maintain you until, until such time as he brings your Boaz. But in the meantime, the Lord is saying, get ready. Get ready for him to, to fully, fully, fully set you free in some areas that need to be set free. The Lord is saying that it's almost, it's almost over. Thank you, Jesus. And you, you have been in the school of the Holy Ghost. And now you're coming into another level. And the enemy is absolutely terrified of you. The enemy is absolutely afraid of you. For the Lord said you shall accomplish great things for him. The Lord said you shall write books. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord said in this season, you will find that people will go out of their way to bless you and favor you because the blessings and the beauty and the favor of the Lord is upon you, woman of God. The Lord has said in this season, what the enemy try to put upon you, even concerning affliction, is being broken in the realms of the spirit. And the Lord is saying that they cannot kill you because if they could have killed you, they would have done it long time ago. They can't do you nothing. And so they're trying to frustrate you moving in a different direction and you're moving higher. And the Lord said, I'll show you what they're doing in visions and dreams. The Lord said, I'll show you which place to go and who to go to and when to turn and how to turn and when to stop and when to speak and when not to speak. For I will direct you, says the Spirit of the living God. I will guide you. I will lead you into all truth, says the Spirit of the living God. And the Lord is showing in this season, woman of God, you're going to come into your prophetic land of milk and honey and the lord has said i'm sending and releasing the finances that is needed hallelujah and the overflow in the overflow god has said i'm sending the overflow in the name of jesus we seal his presence to be so amen and amen amen amen, amen. amen. thank you prophet god bless you god bless you too um, amen. thank you we just had um, my house was removed, so I can't really speak. So oh. thank you for praying about my throat. Thank you. Oh. I can't wow. really talk. Right now. Yeah. Praise God. Well, God says He gives you a new set, a whole new set, and He's bringing mm -hmm. healing in that area. Amen. Yeah. Healing in that area. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Thank wow. Thank you. And God says, God says, because the enemy didn't want you to speak, the enemy was afraid of you speaking and praying. Amen? And so he tried to afflict you there. But the Lord said, I'm doing a new thing for you. And your voice shall be heard. Hallelujah. And you will speak. You will speak aloud. You will spare not. Because you will declare the things of God. Amen? And God Amen. says in this season, thank you, Jesus. Healing is permanent. Amen? Amen. 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 
Amen. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you too. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That was a powerful testimony. Thank you, Jesus. The woman of God, as I was praying for her throat, the Lord was just revealing to me that her throat um, was uh, was under attack by the adversary. And that the Lord had, had, uh, had rehealed it, but she said she got her tonsils uh, removed uh, for something that was causing problems. Amen. For the Lord will reveal the secrets of the heart. Hallelujah. If you want to come on, let me know so I can pray for you. Don't be shy. Amen. And God will bless you because I believe that this is something I, I always do. I believe that the woman of God wants to testify. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray with uh, Constance. Please, can you come on, Constance? I want to pray with you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Pray for me, man of God. If you want to pray, if you want me to pray for you, let me see you in the in the uh, in the comp in the comments. Say yes, pray for me, or bring me on. If you want to, if you want to come on, just say bring me on, man of God, or I want to come on. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. How are you doing? Uh, God bless you. Fine, thank you. Bless you, man of God. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, praise him, praise him, praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Do you want to testify and tell, tell the people what God has done for you and I'll pray for you afterwards? Amen. Um, it's been a while, really, since I connected with the prophet. It's been really nearly five years, and the prophet prayed me, me and it's been there for me. He's uh, helped me when I went for my operation. That went really well. And um, there were things in my life that were not moving, especially when my mom passed away. Um, the the wheel that was supposed to be distributed amongst all of us, it was really taking a while. And I remember there was one time when the prophet declared and said, um, "They are uh, inheritance that are being that are being suppressed by the enemy." And I knew because it was always when it was about to be, we were supposed to get it before you know it's something else. They want this, they want that. And I leave that there and I pick up that word and I trusted God. And before you know it, I got a call from my brother. Then he told me that, look, they told me that um, they need you to send another phone. I said, but I've sent everything. But after that prayer on the Sunday, the following Monday, he got a call from me to say he must come there. When he got there, they said, we don't need anything. You just need to sign here. And they were able to release the money. So uh, there were times where things were really bad. There was one time where we nearly got bent down in this house. We were just listening to you, Prophet. We were preaching, praying really strong, strong, strong prayers. Before you know it, we had our distiller on, on the, in the kitchen. We had a burst of it. It went boom. We thought, we thought it was going to catch fire or something, but when we went, it was just only a few years. So it's been a lot of um, warfare, but through carrying in and, and, and following the prophet and doing whatever he says and him standing with us, it hasn't been easy. It's just been a warfare after another, and you like, you get tired along the way, but thank God for the man of God, for the prophet of God, who is never tendering was always encourages us and when you see these things happening to yourself you're like you really don't know but i've grown into knowing what is really behind you know where i come from and where i am through your prayers and your teachings amen, amen. wow what a powerful testimony so 
powerful. And it's so good to see you. Amen. And I, I, Amen. Bless God for you. Because God is about to do something even more spectacular and fantastic for you. And I want to pray with you and then I'm going to release it to you. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, as I come before you, and God, as I bring the woman of God before you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Father God, you can raise her up to another level of you. And God, I thank you right now for the blessings, the increase, the favor, the generational blessings that's about to come to her. God, with her, Father, with my Father God, in the face of these so much blessings, so much increase, so much life. I don't know what to do with this. Thank you, Jesus. Because it's going to be the overflow and the the deluge of your presence. God, thank you right, right now for what you've done for her and fill in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I, I cover her husband. I cover her life with the blood. I'm going to God for her total deliverance. God from every ancestral spirit that has been trying to fight, I cancel it and break it right now. I come against the spirit of people. I come against that spirit that tried to steal the woman of God's sight. I curse this thing at the root. Yes, no. Perfect vision, vision, perfect sight. God, I thank you. Miracle. God, I thank you right now that she can finally, Father God, do the things that she wanted to do. God, God I ask you for the, not only that, but the money that is promised her from a situation that you God bless you. It's so good to see you. And nice to see you as well. How are you? Yes, I'm good. I'm good. Right here, praying for, praying for you and the wife, you know. So I'm going to pray for you and then I'm going to speak in your life. Amen. Thank you. I pray and bring the man of God before you. I bring Phil before you as well. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And God, I cover them, Lord. There's no distance, Spirit, Lord. There's no distance right now. I touch them. As I touch them, God, even in Phil's body, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I ask that, Father God, you will touch them, Father God. God, even right now in London, in London, in London. In London, thank you. I'm coming for both him and Connie in the season. Both him and Connie in the season. God, I was held up. God, I even called forth from this miracle unexpected money from a source. I'm losing it right now. God, I thank you right now. God asks for a creative miracle to take place in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I break the backbone of every satanic delay. Yes, every satanic assignment right now. And I break Thank your you back. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, right Lord. now. In the Thank name you, of Jesus. Jesus. And I Thank look you, Jesus. in favor of God. Yes, Lord. Right. God, and even right now, God, I ask that you'll expand the territory. Mm. God, you open doors. And God, I ask for the gates mm. of holy. The gates of beauty, righteousness, God, the glory shall come in into their life. Let the glory of God begin to manifest in their life. Let this be so in the name of Jesus. Every deception, every ancestral deception, every ancestral that has been free. God, I cancel it right now. I break their power right now. I seven, seven yoke power. I crop and paralyze it. And I release the fire of God right now into that into that situation you, right now. Yes. For uncommon yes. ideas right now for the woman yes, and the man of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And God is saying to you, man of God, because of your faithfulness to your wife, the Lord said there's a blessing coming to you too. For the faithfulness to your wife, mm -hmm. God is yeah, to you. It's going to bring healing on every level to your life. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And what the enemy been trying to do uh, for, for the Lord says he's turning around for good. The Lord says, get ready to hear good news. Get ready to hear Amen. good news. Amen. Get ready to hear Amen. good news. Amen. 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 
I believe Amen. the report of the Lord. Go before you as a walk. Say the spirit of the living God. Amen. And the Lord will destroy Hard lock and evil instigator in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is going to cause you. your angel to locate you this season. And God is going to God is going to bring you the season of total, total blessing and overflow. Get ready for the overflow to enter Amen. your life. Thank you, Jesus. There shall be no season, says the Spirit of the living God. And the Lord says, you will possess great things, and you will take Amen. care of that, take care of giving the strength. Amen? God is giving you both strength. Amen. God is saying, I'm Amen. renewing you. Celebrating your life for better and for greater and for best in the season. Give God some glory. Give God some praise. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. So it's breaking on my end. I don't know why. But uh, yeah. we receive everything. Thank you very much. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. We'll talk soon. Amen. Amen. I want to say something. When I come over to London, I want to I want to do some services there. So we'll we'll meet to the end. Yeah. Okay. All right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you want me to pray for you, just mm -hmm. let me know and we'll I was trying to bring some people on, but I keep getting declined. I don't know if that's them or, or that's the situation. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Rabba Krabi Silab Rabba Krabi Silab Rabba Rabba Silab Rabba Krabi Silab Rabba 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Where else to go? Thank you, Jesus. God is moving by His Spirit. Hallelujah. God bless you, woman of God. Hey, Amen. How you doing? I'm good. Good, good, good. good. Where, you, where are you from? I'm from Freeport. I'm from Freeport, but I live in Orlando. You're living in Nassau? Orlando. Orlando. You're in Orlando? Oh, oh, excellent, 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 excellent. Thank you, Jesus. What do you want me to pray for you for, woman of God? Um, I I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Okay. All right. Father, we bring Rosnell on. Thank you, Jesus. And God, we thank you as we come before you concerning Rosnell. Hallelujah. God, we decree that you are the God of the universe. God, you can heal to the uttermost, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And we're asking God that you will heal your daughter. Thank you, Lord, for a creative miracle. God, we thank you for restoring those kidneys, Lord. Thank you right now for the restoration of those kidneys. God, I thank you right now for the healing power of God to flow into our life right now. And God, I ask that, Father God, whatever has happened against those kidneys, I curse every spiritual padlock on her kidneys. And I curse the spirit of wickedness that's been assigned against her life concerning her kidneys, every demon that's eating her flesh and drinking her blood, 
even in the kidney area. I command you to loose it now. You spirit of infirmity, go out of her, out of her. Come out, out of her. Up and out of her. Up and out of her life right now. And God, I lose the healing power of God to float. Lord, let it be a creative miracle in her kidneys, Lord. God, even as you made the body, Lord, I thank you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, we flush up every poison, every toxin, every foul pollution, any spirit of infirmity and affliction that has been fighting the woman of God right now. I ask that you bring healing to her right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Woman of God, put your hand on your side. Put your hand on the side of your kidneys. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we ask right now as a point of contact that, Father God, you will touch her, Lord. God, I thank you that the faith level, her faith level is up, Lord. God, right now, we thank you that, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, as you, as the woman, touch your tassel and touch the hem of your garment, God, who had the issue of blood, God, for those 12 years, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, this is your daughter right now, Father God. This is the daughter in Zion. This is your child right now. And enough is enough. Go out of her right now. I command these kidneys to be restored right now. I command the kidneys to be restored. I command the kidneys to be restored. I command her whole body to function and divine perfection to which you've made it a function in. Lord, we thank you right now. Thank you right now. Pray with me, saints. All of the saints, pray with me. Right now, God, we call forth a creative miracle for the woman of God. God, in every attack against her life by the adversary, God, I crush it right now. God, I decree right now those that wanted to die from kidney failure that have made a covenant against her, that, 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 that she will die at a certain time. God, I crush it now in the name of Jesus. I decree that she will not be a victim of these wicked people that come in the night. Every night assassin, every night assassin, every spiritual hitman in the realm of the spirit has been eating at kidneys. I crush your head in the mighty name of Jesus and restore healing to her. Healing right now. Healing right now. Healing to her in the name of Jesus Christ of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Woman of God, I encourage you to try to come to our service. If you can come over to our next service, it'll be good. So we can pray with you in person as well. Amen. Amen. I will try. I will try. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Okay, Amen. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Robo Kurabish Labraba, Karabish Labraba, Rabba Hibel. Robo Kurabish Labraba, Rabba Rabba Baba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God is so good. Amen. God is so good. Let me read a scripture for you. Thank you, Jesus. See, I've set before thee this day life and death, good and death and evil. In this day, to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to do and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgment. That thou mayest live long and multiply. Thank you, Jesus. And that the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land wherever, wherever thou goest to possess. You will possess the land. This is the Deuteronomy. Hallelujah. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you. God bless you. Welcome in. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I'm going to pray for you, woman of God. Amen. I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, as I bring the woman of God before you, thank you, Jesus. Lord, every Goliath that is assembled itself up against her, let that Goliath fall in the name of Jesus Christ, as well as his brothers. Every spirit that has been trying to cause her to go around in circles and to repeat the same things over and over again, and for easy things to be hard, I crush it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, I break the power of every stubborn, evil, wicked cycle that has been perpetuating in her life. I crush you now. I crush your head now. I break your backbone and I slice your head off in the realm of the spirit. You will take your hands off her. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over uh, Miss Stacy right now and everything concerning her finances, everything concerning her family members, everything concerning progress and going forward in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare 
that the woman of God will complete things. There will be completion. There will be elevation. There will be open heavens and open doors. Every brass heaven, every iron like heaven, every brass and iron like heaven, I cancel it over her life right now. I speak healing to her. Everyone that was supposed to help her that didn't help her, every person that promised her but didn't do what they're supposed to do, God, I'm asking that you, Father God, you, you are, are bring it to their hearts again. Touch your hearts. Thank you, Jesus. Because there was a lot of people that were supposed to help you, woman of God. There was a lot of things that were done for you. But because the adversary seeing you as a threat, amen? you like a threat. you like a triple threat to the enemy because your prayer life and because of your faith, amen? The enemy has tried to keep you in a position where you can't seem like you're moving forward. Thank you, Jesus. But there's greatness on the inside of you. And the Lord is saying that cycle is being broken, amen? You're going to be the one to stand up in the family. Thank you, Jesus. And you're going to be the one to break the curse that the enemy had tried to invoke almost 60 years ago to stop the family from moving forward. The Lord has shown in the season of women of God that you are going to be the one that the Lord is going to be used, is going to use to break and destroy a lot of wickedness, particularly witchcraft. Hallelujah. Because you've been attacked so many times with this spirit. As a matter of fact, even right now, thank you, Jesus, as we're speaking right now, I see there are three witches trying to find you and look at you. Thank you, Jesus. There are witches that is in your area and they've been trying to move you. As a matter of fact, they've been trying to send you out your mind. But the Lord has kept you and the Lord has preserved you and the Lord will continue to keep you, woman of God. But your prayers are disturbing the, the, the gates of the enemy. Amen? And so the enemy has decided to, to teach you a lesson. But God is breaking these cycles. Amen? God is breaking the cycles even in relationships. God says he's breaking the cycles and every demonic uh, altar that the enemy set up against you. Thank you, Jesus. Every demonic altar that the enemy set up against you is being canceled, is being broken over your life in the name of Jesus. And God has said in the season, woman of God, that you're going to be let loose like a tornado upon the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. And God says, I'm doing something, uh, even with in the gum areas and the teeth areas. God says, I'm doing something in the mouth area. Thank you, Jesus. God says, I'm bringing healing also in the throat area as well. Hallelujah, because there's been some problems and issues there. The Lord said, I'm doing something with the sight of Jesus. And God said, I'm doing something with the legs. Hallelujah. Even the burning you feel in the legs. Sometimes. Thank you, Jesus. The burning in the legs. The burning in the legs. The Lord says, I'm doing a healing in there because every time that burn, you feel it burning. That means they're up to something no good. Thank you, Jesus. They're up to something no good. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. You got, so, you got so much in you, woman of God. There's so much in you. Thank you, Jesus. And you, you like, you like, you like, you like that, that, that lady who just have that, that level of faith. Amen. Your faith level is very high. Thank you, Jesus. And you excited about the things of God. But I saw where, I saw where the, the enemy has been trying to block people from helping you, block people from supporting you, block people from, from bringing you things that you need. Hallelujah. And the enemy is making things seem hard. Hallelujah. But it's not, it's not the Lord. It's not nothing you're doing so much as it is. The enemy has been fighting you, woman of God. I've been trying to whisper in your mind. But the Lord has said, I'm upgrading you in the spirit. The Lord said, divine upgrade is your portion. Thank you, Jesus. Divine upgrade. And the Lord is saying, woman of God, I will provide for you everything that you need. God says he's going to sustain you and provide for you. The Lord said, don't look at what's happening on the outside. God says, look at what he's doing in your heart. The Lord says, be careful who you listen to, who you hear, what you hear, because the enemy has been trying to overload your head with thoughts. But the Lord says, I'm, I'm taking you into a realm where you will hear my voice clearly and you will know that you're coming out of this stubborn thing the enemy's been trying to do. God says, I'm giving you, I'm giving you a very powerful platform to work with. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God says, I'm going to put boldness in you. Thank you, Jesus. Boldness, 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 boldness. And God has said, he, said he have you to himself. He wants you to himself. Thank you, Jesus. And God says, I'm training you. I'm training you in the school of the Holy Ghost as well. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord said, I'll supply all you need, woman of God. Everything you need. God is supply. God is bringing healing to you. God is touching your body even now as we are speaking. God is touching your body, woman of God. Get ready for God to elevate you in the season, woman of God. Get ready for God to do what he says he's going to do because you are a woman of crazy faith. Thank you, Jesus. You have deep faith. Thank you, Jesus. And God is saying that is what he needs. That's all he needs. He don't need your ability. He don't need your learning. He don't need your education. Yes, he can do those things. But he, what he wants most of all, woman of God, is your availability. Because with God and you, it makes the majority. Amen? God just needs to get a hold of one person. Get a hold of God.
Hallelujah. They could shake the universe for him. You hear me? That's all he needs. One man, one woman that will consecrate themselves to him and will seek him without fail. Amen? At the expense of friends, family, and even success. And consecrate themselves single-mindedly, single focus. And he said he will shake the world to that person. Amen? God will shake the world. Amen? God will cause you to be an earth changer, an earth shaker, an earth quaker. Amen? Because you will quake. And God says, I'm raising up a group of people that will quake the earth for him and that they will not turn backwards and they will not follow the world because they will be in his bosom and they will walk with him and talk with him and they'll be consecrated like Nazarite, the Nazarite vow because it is holy unto God because you have made a choice to be with God. And so God honors that, amen? God honors that woman of God. God says he's honored your sacrifices. They call you crazy. They call you stupid. They call you this. They call you that. They call you everything but a child of God. They try to kill you so many times that it ain't funny. Yet you escape the edge of the sword and God has been with you, woman of God. Even now they're trying to create problems. Even if the enemy wanted to bring poverty upon your life, I was trying to get you to get into that realm where you can confess it. But as you confess it and stand, you've been fasting to break these cycles. And yet it seemed like it's I like you fast, you prayed, you did all of these things, woman of God, all the times. And you wondered. Is God with me? Did I do something wrong? Did I miss God? Did, you know, did I, did I do, is it a, a, a part of a sin? No, it's none of those things, woman of God. It is that the enemy has been waging an all-out war against you. Mind you, I'm not saying that you're perfect. What I'm saying, woman of God, is that God has called you. None of us are perfect, amen? It's only by God's grace. It's only by God's mercy. So anyone that wants to look at you, hallelujah, and cast stone, tell them, look at your own house. Look at your own house. Look at your own house. Stop pulling down the people of God. Before you condemn someone, go look at your own house. Yes, you look at your own house. The Lord said, I'm removing the spirit of condemnation from, a, from around you. And God says, I'm bringing the spirit of favor upon you, woman of God. In this season, the Lord is saying, I'm doing a new thing for you. You will see new doors of opportunity opening for you, woman of God. Get ready for God to break cycles of constant, repeated failure at the edge of your breakthrough and cycles of failure where the enemy tried to make simple things extremely hard. But the Lord said, I'm supplying your needs. The Lord said, I'm moving them devils from around you. There's some devils around you that's been actually trying to ridicule and mock you. But the Lord said, don't worry about them. I have a time and a season for them. Yes, and I'll deal with them. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord says, that you continue to pray and seek him. Seek his face. He'll restore to you everything that was stolen, woman of God. Everything that was stolen. And God will cause you to have healing in your body. Healing. Thank you, Jesus. Total healing and total deliverance is your portion, says the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Give us some praise. Give us some glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. So God bless you, woman of God. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Prophet. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, of Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm just releasing right now a blessing to someone right now. You are at a place where you said, God, I need to hear you because they got me pinned in on all sides. They have me pinned in. They have me pinned in, Lord, and I don't know what to do. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And the great dragon was cast down, the old serpent called the devil and Satan. We deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Revelations 12 and 9. And the great dragon, which was called the devil, the serpent, the Nakash, the slimy one, the slithering one, the twisted one, the twist words, twist things. Fight you at your end of your breakthrough. Fight you when your body get a breakthrough. Fight you after you get the breakthrough. Amen? He fights you when you get the breakthrough. Does anybody get it? And he fights you after it. Thank you, Jesus. But the Lord is about to deliver you right now. The Lord is about to take away sickness. Amen? From your, from your midst. Amen? God is about to take away 
sickness from your midst. Can you believe that? God is doing a mighty miracle to someone right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Pray with me in the spirit. If you can, if you can, just pray in the natural. But if you can't pray, pray in the spirit. God is <laughs> Hello. God bless you. Yes, God bless you too. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you all too. Amen. 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 Let me pray for you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bring your dear daughter before you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, ask her, Father God, everything she's been asking you for. God, yes. ask her, Father God, you will favor her like never before. God, I ask that Father God, you will let her know that she's loved, she's cherished, that she has your ear in the name of Jesus Christ, that she's worthy. God, I speak to her eternally right now. Every spiritual narcissist, every narcissist that she had before that tried to destroy her self-esteem and self-worth, I crush it right now. And God, I thank you that, Father God, you will let her know she's of great worth. God, that she's of great worth. And you see the beauty in her. God, internally, Father God, and outwardly, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask that you will shift her, Lord. Yes. Shift her. Shift her this season to the better, the great, and the greatest, Lord. Everything you have in store for her, God, let it be, Father God, a new season. God, we are ruthless. God, we are ruthless with the enemy because he's ruthless with us. We are ruthless from the days of the kingdom of God's people of violence, but the violence taking it to us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I rip and shred every single padlock that has been fighting against the mind. God, every stronghold of the mind that she's been fighting against, Lord Father God, and has been waging a war against her. I crush it right now, and I lose the glory and fire of God into her life. God, the cause her to move forward by fire, and God, the cause her to enter into that season where she's loved, she's cherished. God, she's of great worth, and God, I thank you right now that right now, the blessing of the Lord are yea and amen, says the spirit living God. The Lord has shown in this season, woman of God, that in this, in this time frame, he has you covered, amen? The Lord has you covered, woman of God. And God is going to do something amazing for you. And I see where the Lord has shown in this season that you're going to rise up. Amen? Rise up. Even when those things that are surrounding you have looked negative. I see you rising up. Thank you, Jesus. God has shown, woman of God, there's a heavy anointing upon your life. There's a call upon your life. Thank you, Jesus. You hear and you see things. God shows you things. You hear from God. There's a mantle of the prophetic on you, woman of God. Thank you, Jesus. There's a strong mantle. God says, God says in the regular spirit, you're a minister. You're a minister. You can minister, you can teach, you can preach, and you're very, very deserting. But the enemy has been trying to fight you in your finances. Hallelujah. The enemy has been trying to, uh, to fight you in relationships. Thank you, Jesus. But the Lord has assured in the season, woman of God, that is about to shift your season. You're coming in the season of increase in favor. And the Lord has shown, hallelujah, that you are going to possess your possession. You're going to possess your possession possession, woman of God, and you're taking this thing back. I see you. I see you taking back everything that the enemy possessed. I see you taking back every single thing, woman of God. I see you taking back things, and I see you are going to recapture your youth. Amen? Some things were stolen from you in your youth. The enemy had tried to mess you up in, in your younger days. Amen? Some things were happening to you. I saw some things concerning meanness, and I saw some things where the enemy tried to even mess with you. Thank you, Jesus. But the Lord says that you are worth it. Amen? You are worth it. And he's restoring the years that the canker worm and the palmer worm have stolen for you and even your self-worth. The Lord is even healing you inwardly, woman of God. Inwardly. I see God healing you inwardly. I see God causing healing to take place inwardly. Every negative image, negative picture, negative recognition of memories, memories that the enemy tried to place there to become a barrier to impede your growth and to stop. The Lord said you are going to go further ahead in the season. The Lord has shown that you're going to go further ahead. Hallelujah. Men will give it to your bosom. Get ready for God to do a new thing for you. Because I see the rebel of the Spirit, you will travel. 
God is going to cause you to travel, woman of God. God said you will travel as you traveling. Thank you, Jesus. And God is saying, get ready, get ready. Anoint your hands at midnight because the Lord wants to bless your hands. Thank you, Jesus. God wants to bless your hands. God wants to do something even in your whole family. Hallelujah. God wants to change your whole family. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that the enemy tried to bring to cause dysfunction, infighting, and to cause little, little, little arguments and little things. God says, cohesion. I'm going to bring the family together. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to bring the family together. And we're going to fight the devil together. We're not going to fight each other. But we're going to fight together. Amen? God says, I'll do something with the children. God says, I'll turn the children's heart towards me. Says the Spirit of the living God. This is your prayer. Thank you, Jesus. And even now, God says, I'm doing something for you that's so unique. And God says, so favorable. Get ready to hear and understand some deep truths that the, that the Lord will reveal to you. Thank you, Jesus. And God will bring healing to your body. God will bring healing in the eyes. God will bring healing in the limbs. God will bring healing in the body right now. Thank you, Jesus. God is saying that you will restore and come into a season of perfection. God is going to perfect those things that concern you. And God is saying in this season, as you begin to be blessed, thank you, Jesus, you must keep quiet about it. Don't let the left hand know what the right hand is doing in this season. Because I see some people that have spoken evil against you. Thank you, Jesus. And they said some things that is quite negative in the realms of the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. And they wanted you ever, never ever to uh, possess the thing that God said you will possess. But God is saying you will possess it. Amen? God is saying you will possess it. And God is saying in this season that he's given you the spirit of boldness, spirit of boldness, spirit of boldness. And I see God blessing you. God is doing something with a vehicle for you. God is doing something with a vehicle. Thank you, Jesus. God is going to open a door for a vehicle or it's going to be an upgrade. Thank you, Jesus. An upgrade. Thank you, Jesus. Something concerning a vehicle. And God said, upgrade. And God is saying, I'm going to do something concerning renovation. Renovation and renewal. Renovation and renewal. And I'm going to open up some new chapters in your life. God says, you will possess some, some, some serious, 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 serious uh, uh, blessings. Amen? It will not be stolen from you. You will hold it. You will keep it. And the Lord says, I'm removing you from around false prophets. God says, I'm removing you from around false prophets. Thank you, Jesus. God says, I'm moving you from around false prophets. And no longer will you be deceived by them. For the Lord has shown you and taught you so much. Because I see there is a spirit of discernment upon you. And you, you know how to walk and when to walk. And the Lord said, a lady of class. I hear a lady of class. Amen. You know how to conduct yourself. You are an ambassador. Amen. And the Lord said, I'm taking you higher. The Lord said, I'm opening new doors for you, woman of God. Get ready for the Lord to reveal himself to you in a deeper way. Even God is going to show you how to move in dreams, amen? And they will no longer be confusing. God will show you things in dreams, amen? Because the enemy, they're trying to take away dreams from you and also hide dreams. But God is going to bring it back to you. You'll remember your dreams, woman of God, and you'll know how to move in the season. So it's the spirit of living God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Prophet. I receive every, every word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm getting the hang of this. I didn't know how to do this before, so I'm getting the hang. Amen? I'm getting the hang on how to bring you on, how to take you up. I'm learning this thing. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. I might just take one more person, and then we'll just continue praying. If you want me to pray for you, let me see it. Amen? Let me see it. Thank you, Jesus. Because we know that the enemy has come down having great wrath, amen? And we know that his time is short, so he's going to attack the believers and the saints, amen? And it says, What if you, if thy heart turn away, so that thou will not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish, and ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whither thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both thou and thy, thy seed may live. And this is coming from Deuteronomy 30, 15 and 19. Amen. God is no respect of person. What he does for one, he'll do for, for the other. But it is your faith level that is going to cause you to enter into your season. Amen? Your faith level. The Bible says it's impossible to please God without faith. Amen? It's impossible. 
How do you know that? You must do a corresponding action with your faith. Amen? Don't just receive it, but also go and you act in accordance with the word. Amen? You go and you plant those seeds. Amen? Don't just say, yes, yes, plant those seeds because it has to fall to the ground. You have to demonstrate your faith. You have to go there and, 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 and make some sort of effort. Let your actions, let your actions begin to uh, demonstrate your faith. Amen? And so faith and actions are both synonymous. Amen? You, it is a doing process. It is a doing thing. Amen? So, so, so the Bible says in this season, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. That is what I call the eternal adversary of our soul. Amen? He is not going to sit down and cause you to have favorless like that. Amen? Genesis 3 and 15 says that he is the adversary, all right, of our soul and his seed and our seed. The seed of the serpent is the evil agents that are resisting you. There are people that have been sent to resist you. There are people that will pretend they're happy for your blessings and your promotion, but they'll do everything in their power to sabotage you. Sometimes you're feeling the seed of the serpent right in your own home. Sometimes you are building them up and taking them to meetings and grooming them to take your position. You don't even see the seed there because the serpent hides itself very cleverly. Thank you, Jesus. We pray for uh, uh, Sandra Lee Henfield, Brother Steve. We pray for Steve right now. We know it's going to be Steve, but we cover Steve with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And whatever needs to be done for him, Lord, we, we, we believe that you can do it and you can do anything but fail in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, we know that the enemy of our soul is responsible for so much of the tragedy and the mishap that's happening in the world because this world is a world of chaos of how uh, of how this war has been raging from the time in the garden. God, we know, thank you, Jesus, that you're coming soon and that, Father, that you're going to set this right and, Lord, you're going to bring the perfect garden of Eden and the perfection of the perfect state when you come again. And we know that, Lord, we must occupy until you come. And so in the meantime, <clears throat> We must, we must strap up our combat boots. We must tighten our belt strap. We must pull out our spiritual swords and weapons and begin to use them spiritually for the Lord and occupy, amen? Occupy, occupy until he comes, amen? That's why sometimes where you go, you could go to America and as you come off the plane, you meet this woman or man looking at you hard and you say, what would I do you? Because they are the, they're the seed of the serpent. They see you, all right? You go, to, you go to another island, outer island, and it's the same thing. You go to to a far country, you go in the bank, there's a seed of the serpent right there. And you said, what, what are you making it so hard for me? Why are you attacking me? Why are you making this thing more complicated than it was? Why are you trying to tie me up? All right? Why are you being nasty and rude to me? All right? And I don't even know you. It's because they, they already know you. They know you, the seed of the serpent. The agents of the adversary knows who you are and they have been sent to put up roadblocks to resist you amen? and to fight you. But behind the scene, it's not really them. They're being used because they open themselves up to it. But it is what they're doing, amen? They're doing that because they do not want you to possess the thing that God called you to possess. Your land, amen? Your blessings, your inheritance, amen? Because once you possess those things, you will give God the glory. The enemy doesn't want to see you give God glory. He hates when you testify. He hates when you come on his live and allow me to pray for you. He hates that with a passion, amen? But God has said in this season, it shall be where you will discover that you have no shame when it comes down to getting your deliverance. You don't care what people say. You don't care how they look at you because you are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Enough is enough. Amen? I don't care whatever it goes through. I don't care whatever to do. God is using this medium. I can't get to you right away. You don't come to the service like you should because of time constraints and because of distance. Then this is the best, best, best thing. All right? But, barring that, do not allow the enemy to make you feel afraid of getting your deliverance. Because at the end of the day, he will laugh at you. Then he will then he turn around and curse you. Then he turn around and fight you, resist you, and then turn around and say, you see, you should have gone on. Look here, you missed that. You ain't getting no more. That's the enemy. He mocks and ridicules. We talked about the spirit of hyena. All right? We're going to post this. We're going to post the service soon, amen? Because so many people have been asking about it. All right? So we're going to post it. We should have done one already. But because of certain things, amen? You see? That's why you got to keep using in prayer because the enemy will fight it, amen? He will fight it in so many different ways. And, you know, one week turned into two weeks, two weeks turned into three weeks, 
And before you know it, it's two months later, four months later. That's how the enemy goes. It doesn't tell you not to do it. They say, you'll get to it next week. You'll get to it then. You'll get to it. Okay, you just put it off one more day. And so procrastination is a thief of time. Procrastination is a thief of time. Amen? We've had so many things stolen from us simply by saying, no, not telling you, no, wait, hold on. You know, now there's a time to wait on the Lord. Amen? That's different. But when God is giving you an unction and a holy, a holy um, anger within yourself, amen, to move forward and there's someone blocking you, that means that it's the devil. Amen? But your inner man, who is perfect, do you know that your inner man is perfect? Your spiritual man is perfect. Amen? He knows things. It's just that your soulless man and your carnal nature fights him. Amen? And so it, it is enmity. They cannot, get, they cannot get along because the spirit man wants to do the perfect will of God. Amen? He's never sick. He's never tired. He's never exhausted. He could be exhausted. I mean, tired of the flesh. Amen? And so what happens is you have a, you have a split soul, a dual soul. Amen? And so what happens is one minute when you do this, next minute you want to do that, and you find yourself, where are these thoughts coming from? You know, where are these thoughts coming from? Do you know that an emotion is 40,000 times, 40, times more powerful than a thought? So the enemy knows this. He knows the science of the mind, all right? So he will work on the mind, all right? He will work on the mind. Thank you, Jesus. And that's why he knows that an emotion, emotion simply means energy in motion. And so when your emotions collide with your feelings, it creates a very strong imprint because it involves all the senses. Emotion involves the hearing, the seeing, the tasting, the smelling, the touching along with certain uh, uh, states of being, and, and you feel a thing. So it, it creates an uh, imprint, a groove. And that's why we can recall things that happened to us 40 years ago, 50 years ago. We can still remember scents. If we go to a certain place, there's a certain scent that is connected to the place, and it triggers something in us. The enemy is all about triggering you to be angry, triggering you to be mad, triggering you to be uh, sad at a certain time. Amen? We have to, we have to just... Not fight this thing, but we have to leave it alone. Don't you know you have to leave it? Don't even fight it no more. Just leave it alone. Amen? Ignore it and leave it and move forward with your life. Amen? And go on in God. Because God is what? He is called the repairer of the breach. Amen? And he's the Lord of the breakthrough. He's the Lord of the harvest concerning your life. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you are going to break through. Thank you, Jesus. If you want to come on, uh, let me know by sharing. Bring me on, prophet. Oh, I want to come on. Thank you, Jesus. I believe God wants me to pray for one or two more people, and then uh, he'll just he'll call it he'll call it a day because I had uh, I had some challenging time, uh, but God brought me through. Amen. He's on a mission, and God brought me through. Thank you, Jesus. I know the end plan, but we got another another plan. Thank you, Jesus. For the Lord is doing a new thing for you. The Lord is is uh, opening doors of favor increase and unlimited blessing. The Lord is showing that this is your year of unmerited favor and the year of uncommon breakthroughs. 2023 will find you in a better position. You will get recognition that you never got before. You will get props you never got before. You will get doors open for you that you never got before. You will see that you're entering into a different season and phase. It's almost like shackles are falling off. Right now, someone... You feel like you feel like shackles are falling off you, even as you're listening. You are feeling like shackles are falling off of you. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy had you in a state of poverty. Poverty. When I say poverty, it's almost like it's hard for you to even pay attention. You find that you know your finances have been dwindling. You find that you know it's hard to keep money. You find it hard to uh, to get money. But God is saying, I'm changing your consciousness. Amen. Because the enemy had you in a particular mindset for the longest time because of the perpetual warfare and attack against your life. You'd, you'd find yourself beginning to think that that's the way it was because there was a sustained attack against you. If you're in a prolonged, sustained battle, eventually your spirit gets tired and get worn down. And so what happens is the enemy knows the psychological components of spiritual warfare a lot better than we do. That's why it's so important for us to recognize the weapons we have according to 2 Corinthians 12, right? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God to the demolishing of strongholds. Amen? Demolishing strongholds. Demolish. You know to demolish something? Then you demolish something. You literally, you literally crush it. Amen? Crush it. Crush it. The only power the enemy have over you is in the realms of the mind. All right? That's the only, the only weapon you have over you. 
And sometimes the bloodline has been that way for a thousand years. Amen? All your blood has been, has the bloodline and your, your forefathers. You are the product of all your forefathers. Do you know that? Every one of your forefathers before you, you carry the blood of your forefathers. You carry the blood of your ancestors. And that blood is still speaking because you are here today. And that sometimes is what you're feeling. It's not always you. It is sometimes the blood of your ancestors and the blood of your forefathers that is crying out. Amen? Why do you think that at a certain time you feel depressed or you feel down or you feel, you know, you know, you're thinking in a certain way and you don't even understand why you're thinking the way you're thinking. And yet you want to go this way, but you find yourself doing it that way. You find yourself even in some places you don't want to be in because it is the blood of your ancestors. The blood of your ancestors speaks. You hear me? Now, some of them are speaking from idols. Some of them are speaking from shrines. Some of them are speaking from altars. Some of them are speaking from different realms where they contacted psychics and, 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 and dealt with fortune tellers and witchcraft and and dealt with, uh, you know, darkness, amen? And so that speaks, that speaks, amen? So God is saying, be transformed by the what? The renewing of your mind. That's why the word of God is such a terror to the adversary, because you'll find that the greatest fight you have is in prayer and in renewing your mind, because the battle is in the mind. And once that happens, he then begins to work on what? The emotions. So these superstructures that he set up in your brain, uh, your, uh, sorry, in your mind, they actually begin to create and indent uh, grooves in your brain. Yeah. And they call it, they call it, they call it something else. They call it neuroplasticity, all right? Where your brain creates new grooves. Your brain can change. Science and the world has discovered that the brain can change. You can change and your cells can keep growing and you can upgrade your mind. God has made it to be so for you. God has given you everything we need for success in God is. And God is saying, you are, you are more than a conqueror. He's told you that you can do all things through his son who strengthens you. You have the power within you, but you have to recognize and, and apply it and believe and say that God is doing it, and you have to not go by your senses. The senses, the carnal mind, will always look at the thing from a logical point of view. You cannot be with God and have logic. You cannot enter into the higher realms and ascend into the, into, the, into, the, into, the, into the third heavens with a logical mind. Logic is the death of the spiritual life. It cannot abide. You have to enter into that place where you are spiritual, but yet discerning, but be careful of logic, because logic is man's way and the world's way of rationalizing things. Amen? You cannot go into the realm of the spirit with that. That's why it says the preaching of the gospel is foolish to them that perish. Amen? And a uh, uh, carnal man cannot discern the things of the spirit. All right? It is foolish to him. You have to get in the spirit. You have to upgrade your level in the realm of the spirit. Amen? You have to go higher to deal with some levels of what we call what we call hierarchy, all right? Satanic hierarchy. He who knows it, feels it. You have to go over and above them, and you begin to operate from your position where you are. If the Lord said you're seated in heavenly places in the third heavens, amen? If you're seated in heavenly places, you're seated with him. So why are we fighting this grand battle? Why are we fighting this woe is me, and Lord God help me, and Lord God this, and Lord God that? Yeah, that's okay too. But you've got to change your trajectory in the spirit. You must rise to another level in the things of God and allow God to break. Amen. Some dead thoughts, some dead things from, from the past. Amen. From the bloodline. Break dead thinking, outdated thinking. Amen. Because I know some of you genuinely want to see God move in your life. You genuinely want to see God do the miraculous and the incredible and, and, and the and indestructible in your life. Yet there seems to be something that keeps you from moving to that level, amen, because it doesn't want you to ever, ever believe you can accomplish the impossible for God. That's why God has to strip you from the environment. That's why God has to isolate and seclude some of us, and God has to literally take us out of our area. That's what he do to Abraham, because we're surrounded by too much idols, because the idol of the familiar is going to keep us bound, amen. God says you can do it. God says great as he that's in you than he that's in the world. God is in you. Christ is in you. Is it a lie? Is he living in us? Or is it is it just is this a fable or just a good saying? But if it's a living reality to you, then if you begin to meditate on this, because he said, I'll keep his mind in perfect peace with a state upon me. If you begin to meditate on this, if you begin to live from this perspective, if you begin to take God at his word and actually believe he mean it and begin to apply this, amen, and begin to live like this, I guarantee you within two years, nobody will know who you are because you'll be totally renewed and transformed by the renewing of your mind, which is the word of God, because right now people are renewing their mind on social media. 
they're renewing their mind on, on TikTok. They're renewing their mind on these phones. They're renewing their mind on gossip, the slander. They're renewing their mind on all manner of evil. They're renewing their mind on Netflix. Amen? This is what they're renewing their mind on. I'm not saying you can't watch those things because those things are good diversion. But they should not be the main staple. Amen? You should meditate on the Lord day and night. Amen? Day and night, you should meditate on the Lord. Day and night, you should be thinking about Him. You should always be thinking about the Lord. He should always be in your thoughts. Amen? You should always be thinking up, Lord, what, is, what do you want me to do now? How do you want me to move? Hallelujah. God, where are you directing me? I want to live in your presence, Lord. So you you will say, Lord, you know, I don't even want you to come back right now. I'm so I'm so I'm so happy just living this life right now and doing what I can for you. I'm fulfilled right here. But when you come, you can meet me working, you can meet me in the vineyard. Amen. Even if you come in the sleep of the night, you can meet me occupied. you can meet me occupied in your service. Amen. And because you're so happy doing what you're doing. Amen. Well, Lord, we thank you for coming. I know you're coming, but I'm so happy just working for the Lord and perfecting myself and disciplining myself and dying daily to myself. Dying daily to self and taking up Christ. That's why he said you must die daily to self. What that simply means is that you must go your way. When they are mean to you, you show them kindness. When they're rude to you, you respond with love. When they try to down you, you 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 speak a blessing on them. Amen. When they're rude to you, you say, Hey, God bless you. Amen. And you speak kindly to them. All right. And you pray for them that use you, despitefully use you. All right. I'm talking about physically now, physically now. But when they come in your dreams or they come in your house in actual project, that's a different that's a different deal altogether. That's a different deal altogether. That is war right there. Amen. <laughs> no, sir. You know, you want me to lay down and you kill my child? Then you you come and take my take my take my house from me. Then you come down and, and take my job. Then you come down and try to mess my marriage up. Ah, 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 ah. No, sir, no, sir, no, sir. This is fighting words. Amen. Remember when you're small? You just need to call my mama. What Say my mother? Say it again. Say it again. Remember that? <laughs> Throw a rock up in the air. Hit him, hit him, hit him now. What do we do? Hit you fight first. You got to wage war intelligently. Amen? But then you must also be as wise as a serpent but harmless as a dove. You must recognize that your battle is not against flesh and blood. It is against spiritual wickedness in high places. It's with rulers of the darkness. It's with evil agents that have been empowered, have been energized, and have been ritualized and anointed by the adversary to become a poison, a bone, uh, a tool to be used to hinder you. There are so many Tobias uh, 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 walking around. I forget the other guy name. Uh, um, and Haman's, Haman's, amen. There are a lot of Haman's that are walking around. All right. They resist change. They resist rebuilding the wall. They resist rebuilding the wall. You hear me? They resist you from rebuilding the wall to the gates of your house because a broken down wall and a broken down gate means that anything can come in. Sun ballots and the buyers, they are everywhere present. That spirit is still alive. You hear me? They resist good things. They resist you rebuilding the walls in your life, rebuilding the gates because gates and walls represent security and protection. Watchmen on the wall, get back on the wall because God is calling you to be watchmen on the wall. You need to come back into your call. Yes, we've been discouraged. Yes, we've been cast down. Yes, even some of our brothers turned on us. Yes, some of your own people, some of your friends, some of your families, some of your church families has turned on you because of the call upon your life. But I'm encouraging you to one more time, get up again, get back on the wall, get back in the spirit, begin to seek the Lord like never before, begin to cast off dead things. Begin to cast off dead thinking, dead mindsets. God says, let this mind which is in Christ be also in you. If you have the mind of Christ, if you have the mind of Christ in you, then you will begin to think his thoughts. If you meditate on that daily, if you practice that daily, if you begin to see his mind within your mind, and you begin to ask the Holy Ghost to direct your mind, he will get you to your destiny. Is it going to be a smooth ride? No. Sometimes he didn't say it could be a smooth ride. He didn't say they ain't going to come against you. He said, I'll get you there because your mind has stayed on him. Amen. Sometimes you're in a plane and the plane is, I mean, I mean, look like the plane to fall apart in the air. All right. Everybody panicking. Yet you sleeping. Huh? You sleeping. Why are you sleeping on the plane? And the plane looks like it can fall out of the sky and they're ready to pull apart. You know, it just keep dropping and dropping. But you sleeping in the plane while everybody else is going crazy, and biting their nails and, and screaming and hollering. And you sleeping. Why? Because you know. That because you're on that plane, that God will not allow that plane to crash or be destroyed because there is one 
that knows his God who can do uh, who can do great exploits for God because he knows his God and God has an assignment and an agenda for your life and because you are on that plane everyone is safe on that plane with Christ in the boat you can smile at the storm with Christ in the plane you can smile at the storm and the hurricanes and the turbulence and the winds and, and, and every manner of evil that comes against you you are able to smile at it because you have the peace of God and it irritates the enemy. It irritates those that have been trying to stop you. It irritates every wicked thing they've done. You know what you know what woman coming to me? She said, Prophet, she said, Do you know, do you know that say say every morning, every morning they put stuff down your door for you to walk on? Say so even say even they put stuff at the place where you go to minister. I said, What? She said, Yeah, the Lord showed me that. I said, Woman of God, you ain't telling me nothing new, but thank you. Because I already know it. But God just sent it to confirm it. She said, You don't know me, I don't know you, man of God. He said, but every time you go out there, they already have stuff laid down. They already have stuff there for you. And every time you come out your door, and even walk in the parking lot, they already had the stuff down in the parking lot. See, God already told me this. That's what God already prepared me. He said, do not leave that house unless your foot is anointed. God will keep you 10, 15, 20 steps ahead of your enemies. Amen? She said, man of God, they've been coming at you so long and for so hard because, because the level of anointing that you carry is the next level of anointing. It's a next level anointing. And because of the because of the people that are being set free, hallelujah, and giving God glory and being restored, amen, the enemy is jealous. And raising the people who are supposed to be your compatriots, supposed to be your peers, supposed to be your friends, and he's been turning them, trying to turn them suddenly against you. But the Lord says in this season that he'll protect you and he'll give you, he'll give you peace and joy in the midst of the storm. And he'll fight the battles for you. And he will do things. I've watched people die for coming against the man of God. I've watched people just pass out, amen. I've watched them talking against Jesus and against his anointed. I've seen them die from horrible deaths and went through horrible catastrophes because they've touched God's anointed. Amen? And they've done his prophet's harm. And yes, yes, I've seen it. And it's true. There's, there's a book of destiny and a book of remembrance that's been opened. And God sees it. And God says this prophets are precious to him. Hallelujah. And those that serve the Lord in spirit and truth, they're precious. So when they touch you, it's like touching God, amen? And God will require and repay, amen? Mind you, he gives them time to change and time to repent. But when they sustain this evil and will not will not change, and they're hiding in their ways, and they're making their plan to, uh, make, it, make it a plan in life to, to become obsessed with you, to destroy you, to bring up things. And the Lord is even showing that there are people even looking for things on you electronically. Do you know there are people looking for things against you electronically? They're looking through your books, through your, your, your computers, and through your phones. They're trying to find dirt on you. There are people that are so disgusted. They're trying to go through your, your history uh, to find things on you so they could try to use it as a way to blackmail you and extort you and to try to expose you. When the point of fact is they don't know that they're touching God's anointing and they don't have prophet's harm. And so they open up a curse over their life. There are people that are trying to hack your phone, hack your page, hack, hack things concerning you. Amen? Because the enemy has inspired them and enabled them and empowered them to come against, against you. But the Lord is showing that at the end of the day, you will not burn, you will not bend, and you will not bow. And the Lord is with you. The only difference between you and them is that the Lord is with you. The Lord is with him. And God gave him success. God gave him rest from his enemy right about because the Lord is with him. If the Lord is with you, I don't care who is against you. I don't care if there's a million times a million people against you. If the Lord is with you, it, it is a done deal. Amen? They are defeated. You just got to be strong in the Lord, the power is might. Amen? I don't care how much they come against you. May the Lord open your eyes to see the great crowd of witness and the armies of the Lord of chariots of fire and horses and chariots of fire and angelic powers that are with you. Eh? They are more with you than they are with them. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. God is bringing change to you, my saints. God is bringing change to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for one or two more persons. If you want to come on, please let me know. And when I come on, please don't decline it. <laughs> if you really want to come on, please don't decline it. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, woman of God. Bless you. <laughs> See you. <laughs> yes, I have to slip away. I'm in my bathroom with all the noise of my children. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen.
thank you, Jesus. Father, I bring the woman of God before you. And Father, thank you for the faithfulness that you're doing in our life. Thank you for the new levels. Thank you for the amazing virtues. Thank you for the livings. Thank you for God that's restoring everything you have tried to steal from her. Thank you for the discernment upon our life. Thank you for the elevation of the Thank you for the hands and the people that you touch. God, for your honor and for your glory. In the name of Jesus, I surround her right now with the power and I release the blessings of the Lord to her. God, even the uncomfortable. Stay blessed. Every spiritual power. Thank you, Jesus. A demonic group that has been assigned to trust with this block. I come, Jesus. I come. I speak to a man right now. I say, peace, peace, peace of mind. Don't give it in the family life. There'll be a cleansing and a purging of the land. God, you suffer not a witness to live. Jesus, God, such a such a hideous thing. They've, they've imprisoned so many people, ruined so many lives, destroyed. God, while all the while going free, all the while looking at the accountability, and now they must pay the piper and they must be sentenced where they will become, become our footstool. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm glad it. I cover her with the blood. I cover the children with the blood. I cover her with the I call her, Father God, in the territory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we break, we break every demonic contract. We break every demonic Every demonic blood sacrifice. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm glad And God, I thank you for what you're doing, even in the area of commerce, entrepreneurship. Lord, I thank you right now. God bless our hands, Lord. God, whatever she put her hand to, let it prosper. Whatever she put her hand to, Lord, let it prosper. Let it prosper. Let it 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 for what you're doing in the woman of God's life, in the name of Jesus, follow the Lord. Everything that they're trying to cut against the woman of God, whether it's mind or body, I cancel and break the power of setback. Every setback that the enemy has infiltrated and implemented, God, I cancel it right now. Hallelujah. In the name of let the glory of God be in the spirit of the woman of God in the name of Jesus. And God, I believe you will cover her. God, you will bless them. God said the name of God, and God is going to bless you with a whole. God said the season, He's going to bless you with a whole. Yes, I believe it. Hallelujah. God is doing something for the home, with a home for you. The Lord says, in this season, Will flow, amen. I will see the opportunity come to you. There's going to be a woman coming. There's no the Lord will do everything that comes to happen to show you, amen. The Lord is saying, You're going to home and build a family, and God is going to give you a little four to five bedrooms, three bedrooms, and anything to do. And the Lord says, In this season, that He's going to do it. By way of a miracle, you just get ready for a miracle. The Lord says, Get it, 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 for you. And the Lord is saying, I'm bringing healing in every area of your life concerning even this thing that you put before the Lord. The Lord is doing it for you. And the Lord says, This is a process that you're going through. There's a process of purging, of purging, amen. And God is purging. Every every contamination, every deposit, every load that is not of God, the Lord says you will possess the gates of your adversaries. And your children you will possess the nets of your adversaries, woman of God. The Lord says in this season, I'm going to show you my favor and my grace. 
Lord said, I'm going to give you even the spirit of anger. The Lord said, I'm repeating even the spirit of trying to come on. The spirit of anger and frustration and rage that the enemy been trying yeah. to touch that spirit over your life, woman of God. The Lord said, this spirit has, is not from you specifically, but it's from a it's from a great grandmother that you don't even, I don't even know your great grandmother, but it is from a great grandmother. Thank you, Jesus. It was a spirit of anger and rage. Amen. It was, and and this 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 thing passed down over God. Thank you, Jesus. This is the blood. The Lord says He's giving you power to 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 take it under control and to submit it to Him. Amen. Submit that yeah. thing unto Him. Let Him speak through you. Let Him respond. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, through you. Because He's gonna use you as a default. And as a problem to be our promotion, amen. Whatever you're fighting with right now, whatever you're fighting right now, it is a promotion for you in the right spirit as you pass this test. If you go to finances and you say, Boy, listen, I can't seem to, I can't seem to never get ahead of my finances. Well, when you conquer that, God says you will operate in finances, that means you will have to go through hatred and you've been hated in your life. Then, when you conquer hatred, you will be able to show the love for everyone and you will be able to find this thing because God will use you to deliver those who go to the same thing. Everything that you have in your life, God is using it to perfect and even cause you to submit a thing to Him. Okay? Because once you surrender, there's nothing powerful than a surrendered life. Thank you, Jesus. And God is calling for us to surrender. Amen? Because there's some things in us that is generation uh, sponsored. Amen? That is hard for us all of it and try as we might. We read all kinds of positive books. We read all kinds of self help books. We read all kinds of five steps to this and ten steps to that and thirteen steps to that. We take all kinds of courses and yet the problem remain because it is a spiritual problem rooted in the ancient tree, public tree root that must be destroyed. I don't care how you try to psychoanalyze it or psychobabble it. It has to be dealt with at the saw. Amen. And God said, I'm bringing this thing to control and I'm causing it to stay. Hallelujah, to be submitted unto the knees of the spirit of living God. And the Lord says that this season you'll find the peace of God that's pursuing God. Hallelujah. And the joy of the Lord shall return again. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord said in this season, I see the Lord slow to slow to, slow to speak. Amen. Slow to speak. And I see Satan. Thank you, Jesus. And as you speak, you can speak with authority. And God says that there'll be time when you rise up with righteous indignation for you to preserve yourself. But the Lord speak it out of you. But the Lord says, elevation, elevation, elevation. God increase, we're going to be the one to stand up in the family to actually break the backbone and break the whole generationally in the family. And thank you, Jesus, that you're paying the price now for the family to be set free and for the next generation to know freedom. Yet we must come to the cross. The reason why we're here today is because someone stood in the gap and took the pray up in the kingdom, whether they were by name or not. They took time to pray us in, so we're riding the backs of those that went before us that stood in the gap and stood in the middle of the hedge. Woman of God, you're going to be a prophetic territorial commander. God is calling you to a greater level of the power of God. The Lord says, this is going to move in healing. The Lord says, the healing of the point of life. And also, God says, as you pray, God is going to give you victory because he, the spirit of intercession upon you. There's a spirit of intercession upon you, a very strong, powerful spirit of intercession. But the Lord will take that with you I've given to him, and God is going to ignite it, amen? God is going to turn it into his favor and his glory for you. It's like the spirit of the living God. And God is going to be crazy. Crazy increase. Crazy increase. And the Lord says that you're going to you're going to find that you are flowing. And people are going to go on their way to do things for you. And God is going to connect you with real people. Because the enemy has been trying to align you with people that are that are wolves and sheep clothing. No longer shall it happen because you will see them who they are. No longer will the corners and the scammers be able to rope you in because you will see it and you will know it and you will know it and you will hear the spirit of the Lord and say, Tony, and don't touch it because God is giving you the eyes of the evil and the children of the God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 This is the year of the fast in the season, amen? To play the fast. Breaking up, you say go on a fast? Yes, yes. Okay. The Lord needs a big 
make sure I do it before this month. Okay. 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 Yes, sir. Is there anything you want to say about that? Um, well, I mean, the past testimonies that I've had, I've shared them already, but I just thank God. Um, the lot of the deliverance I had in November, it really just set a lot of things in motion for me because, you know, my marriage, everything was just going haywire. The children were going haywire. And after that deliverance in November, things, doors just started to open, money started to flow, communication was a lot better in the house. And we, we are doing better than we was. I mean, from 2019 till now, God really has done a lot. And I just have to thank you and your ministry because I was just tired. I, I, I was at my breaking point. I was like, Lord, I don't know what else to do. And I just called you out of the blue and, you know, you prayed for me and God is doing his thing. So I just give him all the glory and I thank God for this ministry. Um, I, I, am, I am blessed. I'm truly happy for where I'm at right now because I was in a low place. So I, I am just grateful. Really grateful. Doing. Wow, that's a powerful testimony, woman of God. And I, I've seen the changes too. You know? And um, yeah. yes, 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 you have broken a very powerful uh, demonic padlock in it. And yes, yes. Yeah. I remember, I remember, I remember, amen. I remember God, God shift the thing, amen. God shift the thing, oh, Jesus. The woman of God. Some things happen to you. Thank you, Jesus. I just see, I just see stuff piling up. Blessings piling up. I see things piling Hallelujah. up. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It's been a long road. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sister. Thank you, Mr. Street. Even when the woman spoke about us evilly and tried to cut us off, you was able to connect back with us. There's some people who are still wolves and sheep living that will tell you, oh, he ain't a man of God, he ain't a woman of oh, God. Oh, yeah. They want to isolate you. you know, oh, yeah. To even family, too. Even family, too, prophet. They were questioning, oh, you sure this? And I said, yeah, don't, don't come to me with it. I've, <laughs> I've been following him, and I, I know he's real. So I, I cut them off, too. I'm like, if you don't want to hear anything, don't, don't come to me. <laughs> That's powerful, yeah. brother. That's powerful because yeah. something that your blessing will stop you from getting breakthrough. And it is a spirit exactly. of losing the covenant. When there is a curse operating and there's a generational altar, they will send people who sound good. It will sound very good. Mm -hmm. right, send me a picture. Send me that. Send me that. You know, let, me, let me see somebody's teaching. And they'll say, ah, ah, ah. Because what happens is, what happens is the spirit that operates behind the scenes has, has no interest in you being free. And so what it wants yes. to do is take things that will set you free or to break connection or, or, or cause you to find something. Ah, because the enemy sees you about to get delivered. Right? We have so we don't have a time to in the ministry where we're about to attend a uh, delivery session and the person says, I have to go now. What happened? Oh, my car get up. My daughter called me. Oh, I have to go to work now. It ain't that they have to go to work. Is that the heat in that the heat the anointing of the fire of God to get it close? Yeah. Exposed. Right? But what happened is the spirit has such control of them, it creates a problem for them to get out of there. Why? Because there are some covenants and some some agreements. They are now fighting with this spirit. Right? They have uh, they have like a understanding. So those you can see them on the top. And they don't generally have to go. They just they just don't want to. Uh, get uh, exposed or think to be exposed. But the Lord is saying, exactly. I'm looking for those who want deliverance, who want all the best, who want no obstruction, no blockages, 
whether it be emotional, spiritual, physical, or demonically inspired, or generationally activated. The Lord says in this season, I do submit the process and allow those things to come out of you. It's going to be a purging and a purging and a purging, and God is going to bring those things up out of you so He can fill you with His presence, with His blessings, with His power. Then set you free. Then go and set the captain for yourself. And that's why we wrote over, you know, a book. we're still writing more, man, so we can empower people to do the same thing, man. And that's what God is going to do to you, woman of God, man. Amen, amen, amen. I'm ready by any means necessary. <laughs> any means necessary. Amen, amen. Jesus. So God bless you. With God bless you. And thank you for the God bless you too. All right. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, I cover everyone on the sound of my voice right now. Lord, I lock in every prayer we prayed uh, to the honor and glory of God. God, I ask that you give your, your people uh, a miracle, Lord, where they need it most, Lord, but more importantly, that they will turn to your son, Jesus Christ, and they will love him, honor him, and they will submit their life to him, Lord. And God, thank you, thank you, thank you for pure a pure heart and clean hands in the season, Lord. God, thank you for, uh, for renunciations and repentance, Lord. And for cleaning our heart and searching our heart daily, God, you says uh, uh, a man that loves you will will honor the word of God and will also live a life that's pleasing. A man who, who has your interest at heart will deny himself and take up his cross daily. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And so, even in the season, we must carry our cross. Amen. Christ carried his cross. We carry our cross too. Amen. Daily we pick up our cross. Daily we fight this fight, the good fight of faith. That's the only fight we need to fight, the fight of faith. Amen? So the enemy will fight you at the level of your faith. Amen? So we are called to fight what? The good fight of faith. It's a good fight. That means that God is saying, you're going to enjoy this. Amen? Because you're going to fight the fight of faith. And you're not going to go by your sight. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna see it in your vision and then you're going to believe it. Amen? You're going to see it in your vision. People look at the, they look at the seed first then believe it. That's the, way, that's the way of the world. You must see it in your inner man. Amen? And you must see it from the perspective of God. And you will see it that you uh, you will report a good report. Do not bring an evil report before the Lord, because the Lord says He made it was the evil. The Lord said they brought an evil report. Then God says He called him wicked. All right, the two of spies went out. They brought an evil report. Amen. And God says they were wicked, and He killed them. Yeah, He killed them. And then the whole generation, He wanted to kill them out, so He let them wander in the wilderness forty years. So you must begin to now confess and proclaim and decree. And say what the Lord says, not according to your carnal, not according to your 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 soulical realm. That's why before people could actually be blessed, they need to be uh, truly blessed. They need to be healed in the soul. Amen. They need to be delivered. Amen. Some things you've been praying for, you still can't get it because your soul needs deliverance. Amen. You need to be delivered in the soul realm, in the very core of your being. Amen. And the soul level, the people who recognize it is is a level where it's right between the chest, right in the solar plexus, and the mind up here. They coordinate with each other. And so a lot of people will feel a tightness in their chest sometimes, even when they're praying, because God wants to deliver you from that thing that has been holding you back, because there's been so much disgusting things poured at you. Garbage in, garbage out. Giga, right? They've been putting garbage in you. That's why they spend time demeaning you, degrading you, belittling you, all right? Uh, because they wanted to put the garbage in so they could have you scarred and wounded and, and, and traumatized so you will never become what you are supposed to become in God, amen? Because you are broken, you are a broken person, amen? Broken, uh, not in the sense that you're broken by God, but broken by the enemy. So you could be an open door for the enemy to walk in and out, amen? So these, these, so these spirits could continue to build strongholds and structures in your heart and mind willy-nilly, amen? There's no repairing of the breach. There's no closing of the doors, amen? Because there are many people who look good on the outside. They look very well-groomed. They drive the nicest car. They care themselves well, but they're broken in their heart, amen? They feel like a failure, Amen. They they know deep within their heart is like a failure mechanism working on inside of them. Yet everybody thinking they got it all together, and yet they look at themselves every day and say, "I know someone will discover I'm a failure." They just wait. And say, Lord, I, I know they will soon discover who I am, that I'm a failure, that I don't have it all together. This is gonna blow the lid off them. Then they can know that I'm a fraud, I'm a phony. You know, it's a it's a term they call it. It's called the imposter phenomenon. Do you know that they have something called the imposter phenomenon? The world has a term for that. Amen. Which is basically this low self-esteem 
and you're dealing with a wounded spiritual person who's been bruised and battered by the adversary, and now he feels like he's an imposter. He feels like he's a phony, a fraud, a fake. He feels like he's he's pretending, amen? And so what happens is he is just waiting right now for someone to say, yeah, I got you. I know you wasn't real. I know you couldn't do this. I know you couldn't uh, stay in this marriage. I know you couldn't stay in this job. I just waiting for you to mess up. You can't even hold this position you got right now. You don't even deserve that promotion. Look at you. You can mess up with this promotion. You can watch, watch, watch. They can take that back from you. There's the enemy been whispering in people's head and mind these hideous lies from the devil, and you have to counteract it through the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen? You have to put in the word of God. Amen? Don't put it in social media. Don't put it in Facebook and TikTok. Those have their, they have their time. Amen? And so we must now begin to what? We reevaluate our lives, our lives and balance our lives. Amen. We need to compartmentalize our lives and we need to bring structure to our lives because if we don't, if we don't do it, we'll find ourselves just staying on the, on the computer 15, 16 hours a day, 19 hours a day. Amen. What's that doing to you? That is literally taking out every bit of God in your life. Amen. And you're not even understanding that what it's doing to you is it's giving you its own brand of religion. Amen. Amen. And so you're being filled up with that stuff. And so no wonder you can't you can't curse a demon or cancel anything to happen in your life because the world has filled you up. And then most of the time it's negative anyhow. There's a negative expectation. We always talk about murder, someone who dies, someone who got killed, someone who got robbed, someone this some that happened to someone. This happened, this happened in farming here, farming there, this that. So what happens is you begin to take on a culture and you uh, at a narrative of fear. So it's fear based, amen. So you are literally programming yourself for failure, amen. And so God is saying, how can I use you if you have programmed yourself with failure and, and, and you know, disinformation and negative stuff? Uh, what am I going to do? I have to now take that out of you. I have to now uh, purge you and cancel this stuff and put my word in you so you can begin to what? Live the God type of life. Live the, the, the life that is above what is happening. Amen? When I say that, I mean that you're not going to, you're going to seriously have all the problems disappear, but you'll be able to handle it. You know, the peace of God in the problems. That's why it perplexes people that when you are going through all kinds of hardship and, and you know, the world seems to be turned against you and you still smiling and still have the joy of the Lord. It perplexes them because they don't understand that the peace of God, amen, is more precious than anything you have. That's why it's so important for you to stay against people who are narcissistic in their approach to your life because they will steal the peace of God from you. They will steal the joy of the Lord from you and they will turn your life into living hell. So you have to make some really serious decision in, in this month of January. You must begin to cut them out of your life. I don't care how I don't care how excited they are to be around. It's not worth your self-esteem and self-worth and the call of God in your life. You hear me? You must begin to now begin to uh, navigate your life and make sure you steer it in the way that God has for you. Don't let your life be planned by default. Don't let the media and, and wicked people who have an agenda for your life steer you. You must begin to be intentional about serving the Lord and about your life being valued and celebrated and elevated and pushed and inspired to go to the next level. Find people who can pray you through. Find people who are going to give you constructive criticism. And I said the word constructive. There are people who give you destructive criticism. They destruct everything you do. They destroy it. You must find people who will not make light of your situation and also try to demean you and try to push you down at their at your expense. Amen. You need people to uh, put you in the highest regard before the Lord, lift you up before the Lord, labor, labor with you, celebrate with you, cry when you cry, laugh when you lie, uh, when you laugh, <clears throat> have joy, in your joy, and get in your face when you are off course and you are doing things that are not of God. They are real friends and a friend. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. It might not always feel good or sound good, but it will keep you from hell. Amen? That's why we push hard messages sometimes. It is not to be liked or to be popular, but it is to keep you from out of hell. Amen? Because hell is hot and, and Satan is real. And the devil is angry and mad at you because you now bear the mark of Christ. And from the time you bear the mark of Christ, the enemy has been after your soul. The enemy of your soul does not come in with fangs. He comes in bearing gifts. Amen? To lead you astray and to lead you down the path of destruction which is broad. Narrow is the way that leads to life. Amen. And so I'll leave you guys with this. God bless you. God bless all of you that are on now. And uh, we will see you real soon. Amen.
And so we'll keep you posted on some updates and um, we'll let you know. Amen. So God bless you. God bless you. Uh, many people say the prayers have been doing very good for them. They've been blessed by the prayers. Uh, a lot of people say they got healing and they have the prayers on autoplay. <laughs> on a playlist, one lady wrote me and she said, Prophet, you don't know every word you pray in that prayer, you're speaking to me. And so now I'm beginning to discover that I don't have to go to this. I don't have to <clears throat> I don't have to take these things to say to me because I recognize that for too long they've been beating me down, beating my personality down. You know, I've been taking a bruise in my personality from the time I was a child. And now God is giving back my self worth as I'm listening to the prayers. And I go to sleep with it on. And I keep praying it, and I keep praying it, and I let it pray on autoplay, and I have it in a playlist. And so I'm getting delivered as I'm sleeping. Isn't God amazing? Amen? Faith covered by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And so as you're hearing that, you're developing your faith. Amen? You cannot have faith without hearing. You must hear it, uh, because that's how it comes. Amen? Because God uses the auditory faculties of your mind to get it into your system, and it goes into the soul realm, and it passes into the soul level, and it goes into the spirit, because the spirit is already connected to God. That's why there's enmity to be in the soul and the spirit, because the spirit is at war with the soul, and the soul at war with the spirit, because they both want control. But before that, in the garden, the soul, the spirit was totally uh, in control, and the soulless realm had subject, was subject to the spirit, amen? and it was, it was not in control of fighting. But when sin came, it threw everything out of whack, amen? So now the soul wants to dominate. The soul wants to control things, amen? And so God is... God is in the business of redeeming and renewing and restoring us. And so that's why the Bible says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You must constantly submit yourself to God. You must constantly seek him whilst he is near. Draw nigh to him whilst he is near, so that you may be saved from the days of adversary and the days of adversity that's coming upon the face of the earth, that God will put you in the ark of safety. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Well, I'll preach, I'll preach till the cows come home. So God bless you. Amen. God bless you guys. I love you all. And we give God all the glory. Amen. See you soon. Amen. Amen.